kind of hinted we would see the Air Force and uh, the, the passing game looked like it was back today. Yeah, you know, we've uh, no, nobody uh, inside that locker room has been concerned about our passing game because they see what we do at practice. And uh, we go against a very, very good uh, secondary. And uh, every day in practice, guys have been making plays all year long and uh, just had to kind of wait for the right time. And I think it really helps the way we've been able to run the ball. We're getting a lot of good matchups. And, uh, and to be honest, our focus in off season and especially in August was running the football. And now three games in a row, 200 yards rushing, th uh, four out of five, 200 yards rushing. You know, that's just going to uh, make our offense that much better. So really pleased. Uh, passing game, a lot of guys made plays. I mean, there were receivers all over the place, tight ends. And, uh, you know, that's that's what we felt like and what we've seen in practice. And it just comes down to doing it on the field. And I think some of those younger guys, uh, Dion and Ray Ray and Trevion, get an opportunity in that type of game against, you know, that secondary had four seniors. Those guys have played a lot of ball. And uh, so I thought, you know, that was good to see. And, you know, we got a chance to be really special if we can have great balance. And, uh, you know, over 200 yards rushing, 300 yards passing, you know, that's that's obviously uh, as good as it can get. With Dion, do you see him emerging as a downfield threat that he became today? was like a, almost 100 yards, five catches, about 20 yards average, 19.4. Yeah, you know, Dion's a guy that uh, shows flashes. Uh, he's very talented, but he's a true freshman. He's coming, uh, played quarterback in high school, so he's had to learn a lot. But he's a guy that you're going to see getting better and better each week. And then, you know, I think um, – the more plays that he makes, the more confidence he gets in himself. But he's been practicing a lot better. You know, really felt like in the Notre Dame game, we're going to have some opportunities to get him matched up. But just the conditions and the setup, it didn't happen. But it's really good to see him uh, go out there and make some big plays and uh, good situations. Midway through the first half, I mean, maybe even earlier than that, I saw a lot of reserves going in. Offensive line all over the place. Yeah. Is that the plan? Uh, yeah, I think uh, one thing we feel like we've got a lot of depth uh, offensively. And, and Coach Sweeney does a really good job year round, spring ball, fall camp, of rolling three groups. You know, so we got three got three groups that play, and uh, you know it's going to be a long year. We got you know got to go the rest of the way with no open week. So w the more reps those guys can get in key situations, uh, it's just going to be better for us down the road as guys get banged up. But you know, really pleased uh, with all the guys, first group, second group. A lot of good things out there. And now also you get an opportunity to coach them. Now those guys get out there and get some experience, and uh, you can coach them and they'll have, have a chance to continue to get better. How important was it to strike first? Yeah, that's something that we've talked about. It's coming out and playing fast, and I believe maybe that's three three weeks that we've come out and scored on the opening drive, maybe the first got points on the first two drives. And, uh, you know, that's critical. You're playing at home. we got a really good defense. And, uh, you know, that – that group's always, uh, you know, tough, what they do offensively. So we want to go ahead and uh, get some points on the board, put some pressure on them, let our defense go to work. And, uh, you know, I really like the, the tempo that our guys, the mentality they have coming out there on that first drive. It's something we want to continue uh, the rest of the year. Jordan Leggett? Jordan Leggett, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he's done a good job, and uh, he's a guy that's a, a big threat in the passing game. And uh, it's good to see him make some you know, some big plays. Had a really nice route right there before halftime. He's a guy that's continued to get better. You know, Wayne Goldman, you know, he's a, there's been a lot of uh, great backs that have played here at Clemson. And to go three weeks in a row, 100 yards rushing, you know, I think that, that says, and everybody can see he's just getting stronger and stronger as it goes. Uh, but, you know, those guys up front are really creating a lot of holes, giving him opportunities. And then there's really good blocking on the edge. I think Sharon Peak had a huge block in that first touchdown uh, with that corner over there. So, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, Wayne's, Wayne's got a chance to be really special if he'll continue to work. What's the big difference between last year's Wayne Gallman and this year's Wayne Gallman? Uh, I think he's just more confident. Uh, he's a year older. He understands what we're doing and uh, just the experience. You know, there's nothing like that experience getting out there. And uh, but each week he's getting confident and, uh, you know, he can definitely continue to get better. He's not, not at his uh, peak yet. He's still got a lot of things he can improve on. He'd tell you the same thing. Yeah, and I think also it's uh, probably the first time all year that we've really opened it up and given him an opportunity uh, to make our own we, We've seen that in practice, the way that he played out here today. You know, we've seen every day in practice uh, throughout fall camp. And uh, we go against a really good secondary and, and a really good defense every day. Uh, but, you know, I think we, we were bound and determined really just to open it up and, uh, you know, give those guys some opportunity today, even though it was raining. You know, it was time to go. And uh, really pleased with the way that he played and, and uh, felt like he put the ball where it needed to be. 
and uh, we going to continue to get better. Glad we got him on our team. You talked about there was really no concern on the coaching staff side about the, the the start of the offense. And I wrote earlier this week, was it, it it could have been weather, the defenses. Do you feel like it was a little bit of all of that and you just needed it to all come together one time? Yeah, you know, each game, you go into each game with a plan and then you get in the middle of the game, there's a lot of things that can change that plan. And uh, But you know, we, we work extremely hard, you know, running the ball and throwing the ball. And, you know, there's going to be some games where maybe we don't run the ball as much and, and the passing game's there because they want to take away the run. And uh, there's going to be some times where, you know, they're giving us a lot of things in the run game. So we're going to do whatever it takes to win and to move the football. Uh, but, you know, I think for us to be at our best is when we're balanced and able to, to run and throw. And uh, that's what we were able to do today. It made a big difference.